cool. All right, so I learned this trick from doing greyhounds. Because in greyhounds, we have to maintain the dog's athletic ability, and nails are part of it. Because we can't have sharp nails, right? And you can't have the long nails where it gets ripped. So this is where I... So apparently, the, the word used is push shoe style. Hmm. So this is like, when you have a farrier that works with horses and their hooves, what they do is they actually pick up the dog's feet, or in this case, the horse, but uh, and do this. Right, okay. So you got to get your dog used to standing still. So in one side, he's pretty good, and then other slides, he's not. So collar hold are very important to practicing your stand and that. So I'm just going to show you today. So I'd like to pick up my dog's paw and keep it low. Right, because the higher you bring it up to see it, the more unbalanced the dog becomes, and not a lot of dogs are good with balance anyway. Yeah, so being able to just practice this with your dog's really good for a start. Uh, another thing that I then do is I actually take a clicker. So clicker is a little device that goes click. I do, I actually have one over this. So what you do is you start with this, right, just holding it near click, and then feed in position, and then you go click, feed in position. So you do that for a few days. I got a mosquito, it's all right. You do that for a few days. Where he learns click means to stand still. Food's coming to you, kind of thing. And then you take the clicker. So we do that for three or four days. Um, and you do all the paws, you know, lifting up and balancing. So he gets used to balance. Mm -hmm. And then from there, what you do is you take the clicker and you actually put it on the nail. Mm -hmm. Right, so you actually go and put it there and you have a click. And then pull down and you can feed. So the click vibrates. That's why. And then later on, I actually do it like this. So... What you'll see here is what we call, you need to understand anatomy. So here, the live part, which is like my pink part here. Yeah, the quid. So his is pretty close. Yeah, uh, I'll see if I can show you on a different pool. Boy, might have to come. Hey, buddy. Yeah. So I'm gonna see if you can stand, stun. Ah, so. Your dew claws are usually the best ones to show this with. So if you want to come in a bit closer, what you'll see here is you'll see there's like a shell, which is this part, and then the quid starts. Okay. Oh, now if you don't want to cut your dog so they don't bleed, you just don't cut into the quid. Okay. So I take these. I actually move those because I can't see how far. And then all you do is you go click. So this doesn't hurt the dog. No, it's like cutting your own hands. All right. Now. The more often you just clip off, the better. Because, sorry, there you'll see, you know, quit starts. Yeah? So if I cut in deeper, if I cut it in short, it'll be better. All right, and then that's going into the live part. So what I just cut off there is I literally just cut off that, you know, white bit, <laughs> you know, for, for a human male. Okay. So most people don't get it, but um, it's, it's the handling that starts making the dogs anxious. We make how them stand still, we're making them unbalance. You know, you got four or five nails you gotta clip on each pull. Um, and while the time the dog stands still enough for you to be able to aim, that's when people cut their dogs by accident. Ah, uh, yeah. And then the dog goes, oh no. Right. So another thing you can do uh, is sometimes I'll sit like this when they're puppies, so little mess, and I'll flip them over and they're back. So there you go. And then I can. Flip the paw over and I can play with it. So you can do your clicker there. Mm. Right. Mm. So you want to get your dog used to being able to stand and have that like, like horse. And they do mm. more shoot to the back. That's the best way to see the quid. So you don't accidentally cut the dog that breeds. Because if you look from the front, it's you cut. So all these dogs have black nails. Yeah. If you have a dog with white, it's easier to see because it'll be literally like this. It'll be pink, which is the quid, and the white bit will be the nail. Yeah. Okay. That's that's how I teach my dogs to cut their nails. Yeah. Yep. Thanks.